something that was discussed at the very beginning of the debate and related to your president was the outsider-insider distinction in terms of experience. So this is to Shannon in particular. You stress that you are an outsider. How would you lead a group of people you have never been a part of? Right. Um, I know I personally in the past have felt excluded from AS, and I don't want that to be the typical experience of violence. I think that's, that's wrong. Um, AS is for all students, and I think as an extension of the body of Christ, it's important to remember that, that we aren't just AS people. Um, and I think starting off with being friends and understanding each other as that and people rather than a job description, um, I would hope to get to know everyone personally and lead them in that way as well as, as their boss. Um, but I don't want there to be a distinction between insider or outsider if we were to win. Um, it's important to have a different viewpoint and try and understand the experience of a typical Biola student um, in addition to how AS functions and sort of translating that back into the AS events and services. Justin, would you like to comment? Uh, yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Um, in addition, I think experience as a senator, um, knowing, knowing how hard it is to put on events sometimes, knowing um, what senators go through about not, maybe not feeling appreciated by constituents or um, all, the, all the things that senators have to go through. I think it's really important to be in a position to empathize, um, not just to, um, to, to dictate responsibility as well, but to know, um, to know that the senators that I am um, presiding over know uh, that I know what they go through, not just um, read it in the job description, not just read what the positions do and what other senators have done, because I've been, actually been there as well. Going back to discussing the function of the vice president as someone who holds senators accountable, um, the vice president must meet with every senator, but this can get very busy. How will you deal with this? Do you have the ability to manage a very tough schedule? And if so, please give an example. So starting with uh, Justin. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know anybody else who's busier than me. I think everybody thinks the same thing, but um, I'm involved with the church youth group as well. I'm a counselor, and so I, I have to uh, I'd be about eight hours a week with, with church. Um, I take an 18 units right now, minoring in ICS and majoring in psychology. Um, take a gospel choir, which is an extracurricular part of my schedule, but um, I think I've grown a lot with time management skills. Um, I used to be really spontaneous when I was younger, but um, I've been able to fit time um, for people in, um, and I think this is a very important part of um, being a vice president is being able to fit people in to um, to know how to compromise on, uh, on specific flexibility things that I might need to uh, be a little less flexible on to to um, be more hard on things that I need to be more strict on and, and so um, with my time management skills yeah I think I'm totally prepared to do that. Uh, I'll follow up with that actually um, are you going to have 18 units eight hours of youth group <laughs> Uh, the things that clearly demonstrate that you can have time management, will all of those be still in place uh, next year in elected? Um, I'm, current, I'm planning on taking 16 units and 18 units next year, so um, I'm not afraid to get a little less sleep than I need to. Um, being a setter now, it's about 16 units, or sorry, sorry 16 hours a week. Um, Kemi's job, 16 hours a week being a senator, that's the job description. Uh, eight, sorry, eight hours a week, 16, every two weeks, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, 15 <laughs> hours a week, 15 hours is what is required for a vice president. Um, I am prepared to cut things that I need to cut if I need to cut them, um, because yes, job resides, it's more important than um, things that I might uh, think are uh, leisure activities. So yes, yeah. Shannon? Uh, I currently work 13 hours a week, and usually work more, don't necessarily get paid for them. Uh, just because of budgeting. Um, and so I've had to make literally a life schedule for every day. And um, like Justin said, learning when and what types of things you can cut short and what needs to be strict as far as time, um, but also learning where to spend an extra few minutes. Um, and, you know, an extra few hours, I've already worked those. And since the beginning of the semester when we were working on the campaign, I've essentially been working two jobs at once, and I've managed, um, it's been busy, but 
I'm, I think, 17 units short of graduating, but I'll be extending that next year. Um, so I'll only be taking about 12 units a semester. So I'll have the extra time um, to account for the extra few hours for the vice president job. Uh, it seems, I'm under the impression that the vice president job is for 15 to 20 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, and it seems that uh, were there to be some sort of controversy or some sort of event that that time would uh, double, uh, maybe in some cases triple. Mm -hmm. um, how would the two of you be prepared uh, for that kind of a change in your schedule? In particular, I want to know, would the priority be being vice president, uh, or would the priority be uh, the aides that I'm sure you aspire to? So, Shannon. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, that's another thing I've had to struggle with this year uh, with my job. We have, I think, like four retreats at the beginning of every semester. And, um, in addition to my responsibilities in SMU. Um, and I think it's important to maintain both things because if we let our grades fall, then we can't work um, for mm -hmm. AS or SMU. And so it's important to maintain excellence in both um, academic as well as um, work life. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult balance, but it's one I'm confident that I can make. Um, and I, I would be a servant of the students, and I would do my best to be that as well as maintain um, academic excellence. Justin, you said you are prepared to cut things out of your schedule if necessary. Uh, how willing are you to do that? Um, I don't even know if it's necessarily a question of being willing, but if I'm, if I should do it, you know, um, sometimes I'm not really willing to cut gospel choir my schedule because it's an amazing opportunity for me to relax and. Uh, opportunity to grow and worship, um, but I think if I had to do something like that or, or cut out a, um, a mentorship um, with, with some, youth, some youth guys in my church, um, I might have to back down on that as well. Um, but um, I'm fully committed to doing my best at, at being um, a youth counselor, being a student, um, and, and being a vice president. One of the things that the vice president has to know is Robert's Rules of Order. So on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your working knowledge of Robert's Rules of Order, Shannon? Um, not as high as I would like it to be. Why don't we have get write it down at the same time? Write it down at the same time, yeah, that's, that's good. I was gonna answer the same thing. <laughs> Can't help each other a little bit, so. Okay. That's where president can Shannon says five, Justin says six, Shannon replies to seven. Uh, can we pass on that question? Is there like, a, is there like a, a, an agreement both to have maybe trade? Maybe the rate won't work, but just in general speaking, uh, how comfortable are you with your, your uh, working knowledge of Robert's Rules of Order, and could you illustrate that knowledge in any way? So, Shannon. Um, I, I've been attending Senate meetings for the past three weeks. Um, and so I've learned a lot through that. Um, and I've been in student council in high school. And so um, I'm familiar with it. I would, I definitely need to learn more. Justin. I can't very um, truthfully say that I'm very knowledgeable in Robert's Rules of Order. But um, if that's something that is necessary for a senior vice president to learn, then I will definitely make that on my number one list to be very knowledgeable. 